One of the first pieces of shocking news to come out of those hijackings after we uh, dealt with the, the fact of them themselves was that uh, Barbara Olson was on one of those airplanes that uh, had been hijacked, that one that was uh, driven into the Pentagon. She was a well-known and caustic uh, political commentator for CNN. She was a very popular figure in Republican social circles as well as political uh, circles in Washington, D.C. And she was married to the Solicitor General of the United States, Ted Olson, who was such an effective advocate for George W. Bush before the U.S. Supreme Court during the long count in Florida. Today, I talked with Ted Olson about the loss of his wife and their final moments together on a cell phone. She was in the hijacked airliner. When she first placed the call, I don't think that she did. Uh, I had to tell her, or I felt that I had to tell her, that the other two airplanes had been hijacked and had crashed into the World Trade Center. She certainly was a survivor in her professional and personal life up until that moment. There was no sense of panic, though, I gather, in her voice. There was no sense of panic in her voice. In fact, I had the feeling that she had placed the first call, A, to, to see, to talk to me, um, and B, to reassure me that everything was going to be okay, and C, to figure out what to do. Did she describe the hijackers to you? She mentioned to me that they had herded the passengers in the back, that they had um, used knives and box cutters to take over the plane, but she did not describe them, and I didn't think to ask. There was that report here on NBC from Jim Miklaszewski that there had been some kind of an explosion, that the Pentagon had been rocked. Were you aware of that when it happened? I was virtually certain that that probably was Barbara's airplane. Um, I, 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 I had a very, very pessimistic sense or a sense of doom about this whole thing that it was not going to come out well. Is it possible to grieve such a loss privately in the midst of such a public calamity? No, it is not. Um, on, the other, on the other hand, that, that is both makes it more difficult, but it also makes it more understandable. I, my, I, my, I have huge emotions for the people that are suffering in the same way that I am. Well, we're so saddened by what has happened to this country, the fact that we have this bond. Um, may in some respects make us stronger and make us more able to get through it. Mr. Olson, is it true that Barbara delayed her flight by one day because she wanted to be in Washington with you on Monday to celebrate your 61st birthday? My, my birthday was on Tuesday. Uh, she didn't want to leave the night before. She wanted to stay until um, the morning so that she could greet me in the morning, wish me happy birthday. Um, uh, that's one of those awful, awful facts, um, but it does not do any good to think about those things. Um, life is full of those kind of strange things, and I think that, uh, that, that the perspective that I have on this is the perspective that Barbara would have insisted that I have. Ted Olson, Solicitor General of the United States, who lost his wife, CNN commentator Barbara Olson, in the crash of the plane into the Pentagon. Uh, they were a very lively couple socially in Washington, D.C. They both loved the opera and loved giving big dinner parties at their home. And Barbara Olson now is gone.